hey, happy Friday. Funny meeting you are here again. <laughs> exactly. Actually, this is happy Sunday. We're going to post this for Sunday. That's true. This mm -hmm. is going on Sunday. So happy Friday for us. Happy Sunday for all of our viewers who are watching this and the replay. Welcome. Yes. So welcome to the Commentary Zone. Today we're going to do something a little different. Um, we're, all, we're talking about Southern Charm Season 7, Episode 13, Secrets Revealed. But we're also going to do like a quick season review, recap, and looking forward for this series. Mm -hmm. So Jamal, um, oh, before I let you take it away, Jamal, as you enter the room, guys, please give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. That's Thanks, guys yeah. and gals. I actually <laughs> think what we should do is actually mm -hmm. start with the season, the secrets revealed, mm -hmm. um, then do a quick recap and a quick prediction. I think that might be the proper order. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll let you go. I just have I, a few highlights. My okay. favorite highlight of the night was with Danny pawning off yes. her engagement ring for 22 thousand five hundred dollars which she's going to use mm -hmm. that money to freeze her eggs i'm happy for her because she's taking control of her life you know she thought mm -hmm. at 35 she would have be married have kids and she doesn't but she's taking control like you know what let me just sell this because i have no use for it and let me use this for let me sell my past so i can secure my future yep yeah i like that Loved it. But you know what? That's probably the curse of Shep because didn't she used to date Shep? No wonder why she's still single. <laughs> well, My God. Who hasn't Shep dated though? <sighs> if we're being true. honest. We're being That's honest. very, very true. He's really run through that city. Um, yeah, that was my big highlight of of the episode. That and and Craig not having pubes. Right? Oh, like, <laughs> okay. Like I, I didn't even know that, but <laughs> Go Craig, go Manscape. I hope you have a sponsorship. I know. Somehow I believe that. I believe he's like all little boy PB down there. Hey, if you feel if it makes you feel groomed and feel good, go for it. Go for it. What what did what did you find interesting about this episode? Uh, for me, I'm not a, the biggest fan of Secrets Revealed. They really don't do too much for me overall. But I, my favorite part was Danny's, um, you know, s s selling the ring. You like, she's like, you know, it's finally mm -hmm. she got to the point where she could let go of that mm -hmm. and use that to move herself forward in life. So I was happy for that. Yeah. Outside of that, nothing else was really. Well, the episode seemed to have wound up with the seventh anniversary of Republic, which is Leva's uh, bar lounge nightclub mm -hmm. thing. Um, celebrating the seventh anniversary for them. Um, and it seems like all of the characters from Southern Charm have some connection with this bar. Um, like Craig used to go there every night looking for girls. Um, Catherine and Thomas actually met there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, it seems to tie, oh, Shep has been kindly asked to leave there, escorted out several times. Um, you know, it, all of them have some mm -hmm. sort of connection with Leva's um, yeah. nightclub. It's like it's like the cheers of Charleston, basically. Hmm. Like, That's everyone goes there. Yeah. Everyone goes there. It's like the favorite hangout spot. It seems, I would like to go there. It just seems very relaxing and, and a place I would want to go and chill out. So it looks like a great place. I just thought of something. What did you think? I just saw this because I have it written down. Of Craig admitting that if Shep hadn't broken the bro code, he might have had children with Catherine by now. I could see that. I could see that. Oh, my God. I can't believe he still thinks of that. I Craig thought doesn't he let anything go. Bullet. Craig doesn't let anything go, or he doesn't forget anything. I That's thought he... I, he should be thanking Shep, quite honestly. Right. Maybe she was his like first infatuation love exactly. kind of thing. Exactly. Let it go. Let it yeah. go, Craig. Much like your pubes, let it go. 
Okay, yeah, that those are the the major things that I found. Like, like I agree with you. You know, these these shows are just for fluff, um, put out there to sell advertising time. So yeah. No, no yeah, it, that's all they are. Mm -hmm. But the, as for me, as far as the season goes, it wasn't their best. We all know no. that. Um, yeah. due to, you know the COVID, and then you lose Cameron. You lost Thomas. Got fired. I mean, there just really wasn't much there um, mm -hmm. to run with because you, you you lost two central characters, so it was a big shoes to fill. And they brought in some new characters. I mean, they were okay. Pringle mm -hmm. seems cool. Like Madison, I'm iffy on. Um, yeah, it just and really Leva. wasn't much. Leva was the, Leva. the other new one. Yeah, she was cool, but I felt like her edit got changed. Or her storyline got changed once camera wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Um, it took away it just that took away, you know, camera not being yeah. took away from her. So I, uh, you know, judging judging overall, like I said, it wasn't their best, but I'm not gonna hold it against them. I'm still gonna watch the show because it historically has been good and entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. Um it wasn't, I agree with you, it wasn't the best for me either. I had a lot of issues with it this season with a lot of the characters. Um, I just think that the whole global situation last year got to the majority of these characters mm -hmm. and it didn't show well. No, it didn't. But you know what? They got through it. Mm -hmm. The reunion, the reunion was, obviously the reunion was great. Mm -hmm. So... I'm kind of looking forward to next season. Okay, so next season. What do you envision for next season? Let's go for character by character because it'll be easier mm -hmm. to go through. I'll start with Shep. Uh, we need Shep. I yep. mean, I want to see if Shep and Taylor last. That's my biggest thing with him. Like, mm -hmm. is Taylor going to stick around or is he going to do something to, to drive her away? Because apparently he's already kissed another girl and she's forgiven him. So I want to see something's going to happen next season. I don't know. I agree with you. I want to see if Taylor can tough this out. Shep is not the easiest individual to get to, to get along with. Is do But do we want to see Peter Pan grow up? I mean, we have been watching for seven whole seasons to see Shep sleep his way around Charleston and wake up foggy the next day um i miss that old chef i'm sorry him being with a girlfriend this whole season and mooning over her was not appealing to me but he's like 42 bad? he's like what 42 now so it's kind yes. of like it's like uh, it's about that time you need to i know do it, it you know, to pot. But there's certain men who are forever bachelors. And I just have always categorized Shep as that. I mean, I feel bad for his mom because I know his mom wants him to settle down and get married. I get it. But is Taylor the right girl? Isn't she in her 20s? Is she able? Right? Yeah, but is she able to handle? Like, how long will she be able to go? I'm cool with that. And just allow him to behave the way how he behaves. Very fair point. Well, hopefully we'll see how it goes. I guess and you we know, can, you know he say as soon as they start asking about commitment and marriage, he bails. True. She hasn't done that yet. How long is, yet. do we wait for that? <laughs> mm. I guess so, <laughs> exactly. I think Craig is the next one up for me. Mm -hmm. We need Craig. Craig has to come back. Um, mm -hmm. I want to see if he's going to be the pillow king. And I want to see if him and the new girl, Natalie, um, make it. And we need the bone carrier. So we have to have Craig back. Yes. I agree 100% with that. Craig is essential. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Who do you, Who's like next on your list? Austin is a no for me. <sighs> yes. I... I really struggled with Austin because I'm like, well, can I deal with Austin with no Madison or Madison with no Austin? I, when it comes down to TV, I can't do Austin. 
Austin mm-hmm. can be a friend of the show. That's about it for me. I don't want him as a friend of the show. Mm. I think he should leave the show and go off and focus on his beer. Go and do that. This show is not good for him. Mm-hmm. I saw a side to him this year I did not like. And quite honestly, I think we saw the real Austin this year. Mm. And yes, it was because of the toxic relationship that he was in with Madison. But I also think it was other reasons as well. I don't like who I see with, with Austin. I've tolerated him throughout the seasons. This season, I will no longer tolerate him. His Mm -hmm. storyline has run its course for me. I know I'm going to be overruled on this. Everyone loves Austin, especially Austin with Craig. Whatever. Not me. I I tap out. Uh, I can see that, most definitely. So Mm -hmm. we're kind of agreeing he doesn't need to come back. But I think he should come up with a friend, a friend of of Craig. You just completely know. No. Who's next for you? Um, Madison won. All right, so Madison. So Madison. So here's the thing, Madison. One though, <laughs> based on what the people are saying in the in the um, blogs, I I kind of want to see her back just to see what's going on. I'm sorry, I just do because like I want to see what stuff get leaked. I want to see like was she really just out uh, hopping and bopping? I need to know these things. So for that purpose alone, I want to see her next season. The only way that I could tolerate her is if she's actually in a relationship with someone other than Austin and Austin is not there. Okay. I can't have that dynamic anymore. I just can't. And if she's in a relationship with somebody else, I want it to be nice. I don't want it to be like how it was with Austin. If she's not in a relationship, I want to see her in her business, in her hair salon or in her booth or her her chair or whatever it is that she has. They said that, that I thought I read somewhere she opened up her own salon. She her own, yeah. I want to see that. That's the only reason why I, I would take her back. But Austin cannot be fair. Okay. That's a very fair point. I think I can agree with you on that one. It stressed me out. It, it, was just, it, was just, yeah. it was just cringy to watch, to be honest. Like, I don't mm-hmm. need to see this on my screen. Can I fast forward? Mm-hmm. Now, for me, who next on the dock is Pringle. I want Pringle mm-hmm. back because he's new. That's all. I'm not a fan oh. of people being on the season just for one season because it's not fair, particularly this season. And he has some interesting quirks to him. I love him with his sons. You know, his sister seems cool. I kind of want to meet more of his family on the show, if possible, to see, like, mm-hmm. how, like, how he really is with his family. Mm-hmm. And you know, he's an interesting character to the mix. And I'm 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 okay with Primo coming back for him next season. I'm neither here nor there with him, but I do agree with you. I like his family. His sister is rock star. His we saw his dad on the secrets revealed um, at the Pringle house with his sons. So you saw the three generations there, you know, um him telling the history of the house and his family and the kids not caring, you know, it was, it was cool. He has a nice family dynamic, even with his ex-wife. I Mm -hmm. love that. The kids are priceless because whatever comes out of their mouth is hilarious. Um, But with Pringle himself, um, I'm still on the fence with him. It is his first season. He's never done this before. Um, I don't know if he's been on reality TV before, but I'm I'm, I'm going to say no, just based on his showing this on this. I, I'm on the fence. I, I could care less. <laughs> okay. Now, for me, next up is Leva. Now, yeah. overall, I'm, I'm looking at Leva overall. Mm-hmm. She can come back for me because, like I said, I want to see people for two seasons. Mm -hmm. I think she was derailed. I'm not sure if I said this earlier, but she was derailed by not having Cameron ease her into the group. Mm -hmm. So what happened, it looked like she was just placed in this group. The viewers were like, who is she? And Cameron would have been like, hey, this is my friend Leva. She's the owner of Republic. We've been friends for years, blah, 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 blah. Then the audience, we would have been like, oh, you actually own the spot everyone goes to. 
-hmm. And that would be a perfect tie-in versus her being kind of just plopped in as Catherine's first foil for spreading rumors about Karen's marriage. And yeah. then later it looks like, well, you're just like the token um, person of color to um, push this Catherine storyline forward. So I just don't think she was given a fair storyline chance throughout the season. I want to see her come mm -hmm. back as a member of the group and we get more than just what we saw. I think there's more there. Yeah. No, I agree with you. I like her as a character. I think there's a lot to her, like her Persian background, her immigrant story. Her mom is great. She's got the successful marriage, successful businesses. She's got the baby. There's like so many different things that you can look at with Leva. Um, does she get a fair shot this season? No. Mm -mm. And I tend to believe you when. Uh, when you say because of Cameron's departure, um, her storyline might have been changed. Mm -hmm. You know, um, did she handle it okay? I think she worked with what she got. Agreed. I can mm -hmm. definitely agree with that. Yeah. And is there anyone else? Did we, did we... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. She's like the show antagonist slash train wreck, but you can see deep down, like she's not a bad person. So and for that respect, since she is a central character to the show, I want her back and I want to see if she and Caleb remain together. And I know this probably will not happen, due to the situation with Thomas, I would love to see how Thomas, Caleb, and Catherine interact, given the history that we know between Caleb and Thomas's family. I no longer care about Catherine. She could go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. No more Catherine? Yeah, no. No? It's a wrap for me. <laughs> why? I'm just curious why I know Catherine. Um... She doesn't interest me anymore. Mm. So do you think without having Thomas, there's no use for Catherine? I think even with Thomas there, there was no use for Catherine. No, I think I think with Thomas there, they make a very good storyline because there was always something going on. They were always like fighting and getting back together. Their kids are adorable. Like, when you see them together as a family, you're like, oh, they're so cute. Why didn't it work out? But then you see them separately, like, yep, we see why. Never mind. I don't know. I we've seen that roller coaster. I'm yeah. good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just good. <laughs> I understand. I would I would like to see a season where Catherine moves forward in her life. That she moves like really moves past Thomas to where maybe she's going back to school or she's working in like um, a legislator's office, something like that. It would be nice, but I don't think Catherine has the drive to do that. Catherine mm. can't even bother to show up on time for anything. Look in Secrets Revealed. She left Pringle sitting there waiting for two hours before she showed up. Danny during the season left Danny sitting on the sidewalk waiting for her for hours before she showed up. It, it, she's got two kids. It's mm -hmm. been seven years and she hasn't progressed much. I would say mm -hmm. she's regressed. Mm -hmm. um, when I look at the comparison between her and Shep, Shep has progressed throughout these seasons. Craig has progressed throughout these seasons. Shit, even even Austin has had some form of progression. What has she done? Had Cricket. babies? Yeah. Yeah. Now we now since you don't care about Catherine anymore, <laughs> I guess we can move on to our last three that are which are the friends. Uh, okay. Madison, Madison number two, um or Anita Benita and Danny and Danny. Now, uh -huh. for me, I would love to see all three come back. Danny, 
Danny showed me something these last couple episodes. Mm -hmm. Danny stood up for herself. She spoke her mind. She wasn't concerned about other people's feelings. I had Danny, I had Danny cut. Danny was out for me, but she really came through. Like she she just was comfortable speaking her mind and not trying to be the good girl. I think her trying to always keep the peace, uh, be the good person. Sometimes telling the truth is not going to make you the good person in everyone's eyes. And now that she's found this voice, I want to see she keep it going. And I want to see more of her now. Benita's great. Mm -hmm. Great addition. She had things to say and they were pointed. There was no fluff to her. She said what she had to say and she kept it moving. Uh, Madison number two, I want to know more about her family, how they started Gwen's, like what her education and background is. She's interesting to me. She's more than just, mm -hmm. you know, you know, her family's business's daughter, I guess you could say. Yeah. No, I agree with everything that you've said. Those, the, the three friends, I want to see them come back because they've whet my appetite with what they've given me this season. And I want to know more. They have a, I just, they have a lot to, I think they can bring a lot to the group. Mm -hmm. I think they can bring a lot to the group. So basically what you would do is you would get rid of Catherine, um, say goodbye to Austin, uh -huh. and Matt, keep Madison only, she's in a relationship. So with someone with, other than Austin. Austin, yeah. right. So with that Cat shake up, there's plenty of room for the, the three new friends and maybe Danny to get elevated. So I want do want to see more of her and to have um Madison S elevated or Madison 2 um elevated. Yeah. There is room to promote friends. Mm -hmm. Um but I would keep Madison too as a friend. If I was gonna elevate, okay. I would elevate Vernita. Okay. Because I would want to know about her social media influencer thing. Mm -hmm. um, I would want to see her, you know, have a romance or something. Um, I, I, I want to know more about her than just what we saw. Like, I, it's wet my appetite. I want to see more. Um, but she would be the one that I would pick to elevate to a okay. full-time friend. That's completely um, fair. I would, Madison too has more important things to do down at Gwen's. She could come see us at the family barbecue. Got it. Mm -hmm. I think that's for oh, me. And with Danny, if she, well, when they sell the ring and she gets the cash, right? I mm -hmm. want to see her egg freezing um, process. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. She opened that door, so I want her to kick it right on in. <laughs> Okay, so guys, tell us what you thought about um, this episode, episode 13, Secrets Revealed of uh, the seventh season of Southern Charm. Leave some comments below. We do read them and we respond. Um, let us know what you think about our forecasting for season eight of Southern Charm. Um, in the meantime, oh, there you are. In yes, the meantime... <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you like what we had to say in this uh, little show um, about our favorite show, Southern Charm. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're sent an alert every time that we release new content. And most importantly, tell a friend. Have them join the conversation with us. We like to hear what you have to say. Anything right. else from you, my friend? No, I think we're good. I'm excited. I'm excited to next season based on what we saw at the reunion because the, re the reunion was that good for me so i'm ready for, i'm mm -hmm. hoping they kind of see this take our casting advice and yeah can't wait for next season sweet so until next time my friends bye, bye. bye.